Jeez, oh my goodness. Hello, hello, hello. A new day dawns here on the farm. We are kicking off with something rather precarious today. We will be relocating William, both for his own safety, because I don't want him to be blown up by a creeper, but also because I'm just, I don't want to listen to him. And I don't want to be looking at the, the dirt. So we will be building him a little holding cell for the time being until we get to a point where we can actually cure him and, and turn him into the farmer that he is. But first, I would like to do a little bit of enchanting because we have the levels. I'd love to have a diamond sword. So let's see if we can get something decent on a diamond sword. If not, then I will enchant something else if we get a better deal for, for a piece of armor, for instance. So let's take a look at what the enchantment table says. I have been mining for some diamonds so I've prepared a full set of everything basically that we would be keen to to enchant. Um, priority is the sword so let's see if we can grab a good enchantment on it. If not then we'll try something else but uh -huh. smite is pretty good. Let's just take a little look. Oh that is better though. That is definitely better. That, oh, that of course takes the... This is a silk touch as well. I'm gonna take a silk touch so shovel. I want that for sure. Okay. Let's put this on. These will wait for a better day. So no diamond sword for now. But hopefully once we get back to 30 levels if we don't die while dealing with William then we'll um, take a look at the enchanting stuff again but I'm gonna put this away for safekeeping. Right so I've been scouting in the nearby area a little bit for a place to, to put him in. We don't want to put him too far from the place but we want to put him far enough so that we don't have to listen to him and we don't have to be you know confused at whether it's an actual mob on the loose or this guy in the dirt hut there when when we hear footsteps and stuff so this oh let's do this a little bit i'm thinking this hole thereabouts it's sort of gives an indication of hey put something here already with these markings but I'm going to be digging into that little hill and carving out a space for William in there and uh, we'll hopefully be leading him in here without losing him to a creeper and without dying ourselves so yeah let me do some digging here and I'll, I'll bring you back in a bit. And here we are with a nice little snug area for William. I've put a lantern up there just so we have a little bit of light. I put it way up there. That is just the, the surface block so I can't put it any higher. Um, high up there because I want this to be quite dark and damp and not a very nice place to be. There is a redstone line, just a simple line that goes down here, which will hopefully work when I try to close the door. So the plan is I will lead William here at night time when he doesn't burn up in the sun. He will follow me here. I will block this off, flick the lever and he's stuck in there. That is the plan anyway. So now what I'll do is I'll just do a little bit of decorating here so it looks a bit more cavey. Um, and yeah, when the night time is here, 
we will go and grab William. Door. Does it work? It works. Cobble. Slab. Bar. Stairs. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to name all the blocks I place. <laughs> Water. Mossy. Vine. Water. Mossy. Cobble. Vine. Mossy. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not going to do it. Grass. Cobweb. And... Undersides. It's night time. I think we're good to go. Jeez, oh my goodness, oh, okay. We survived. <laughs> oh, goodness. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run to the farmhouse, sleep the night away, and then repair the creeper explosion. And yeah, we'll do something else, something less exciting. Done. Oh. You know what? Are you going to go and trample my crops? Yes, obviously you are. Die! I don't even feel bad. This is not the first time I've, I've killed these guys because they actually have trampled the crops. And I'm not a big fan of that. Um, we can't bone meal that yet before the grass is grown, so we'll bone meal this bit at some point i'll probably do that off camera but now i'm thinking the shipwreck that was thereabouts i really want to check that out hi let's not look at him all righty adventure time i think it was just around the corner here if i don't misremember 
Oh yeah, there it is. Very, very close. Let's hope for a treasure map. <gasps> Turtle! Oh, fantastic. Okay. There's supposed to be, I think, two or three chests. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Come on now. Not just that one. That's so disappointing. Oh, come on now. Seriously? For real? Oh, dang it. <sighs> well, it looks like this was a complete failure. But the good thing is, there's dark oak here. I'm planning to use dark oak in the farmhouse, so I think I'm going to just clear this all up. I'll take down the whole boat and salvage whatever dark oak we can get from here. Yeah, I wasn't salty at all. I didn't go to the other shipwreck and tear it down altogether. Yes, I did. I went and just demolished it. And the good thing about that was, looky. So we are going on an adventure after all. Alrighty, we need to go southeast. The other shipwreck that I took down had quite a lot of uh, dark oak. So I'm, I'm happy about where we are with dark oak at the moment in terms of the upcoming far, farmhouse decoration, which I really want to do today. But in terms of the treasure now, I think we're going to probably get Heart of the Sea, it's called. I've never done anything with it. I know that you can create a conduit or something using it, but I've, I've never done that because I think you need prismarine for that and I've never like fully cleared out and dried out one of those ocean monuments so I've never really got that far in terms of my Minecraft career history but I'm planning to definitely do that at some point in this series so I think we're getting here I'm going to I'm gonna get off the boat here I think I I need a shovel Oh, about freaking time. Let's clear our inventory a little bit. Come on, give me goodies. Yeah, I've been digging <laughs> here a little bit. We got the thing and some other things not bad and also it is my goal in minecraft that when poisonous potatoes become useful i have a double chest of them so definitely keeping those oh hello you tropical fish i don't have a bucket so i can't take one of you with me but I do want to make an aquarium at some point. Yes. But now, homewards. Hello, William. I hope you're not too angry with me. I did this for your own safety. And also a little bit of selfish reasons from my end. But yeah, you're a bit scary. Okay, so is the darkness. The the bone mealing has been done. I put a little bit of a path, barely noticeable because nobody 
really comes here that often so it's barely there there's a little bit of a path just signaling that if you look that way there is something there but now we are finally going to be doing the interior here. All the dark oak that we have so far is here. So I'm going to grab that. We're going to go in and close the door. Good. This is the light level that I'm looking for, for this house. A little bit on the dark side, a little bit on the creepy side almost our farmer is an ex zombie so that alone is, is a little bit creepy so we're trying to reflect that here a little bit too that is not to say that this won't be homely and a little bit cozy too i want to keep it you know quite warm but at the same time we'll not be using any bright colors we'll be using earthy browns and blacks and grays because of the the creepy factor which will be understated but it's going to be there so let's get started with i think um the little cupboard area that i want to put here let's actually do this first so we have a better idea of the area that we work with so that's going to be there yeah maybe we can put the little cupboard here there's going to be a doorway here i think this is about okay Yeah, we will need a torch in here, though. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. And there, uh, I don't think I can put stuff on there if it's that low. Let's put it one step up here. Cool. Let's do the chimney thingy. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And I'm thinking, actually, do we want to... Hmm, I don't know. We're going to separate this area anyway from the... Maybe like that. From the seating, there's going to be a table and a, and a few chairs here. Um, I'm just wondering if I should do something about the floor. Maybe just carpet. I don't know. We'll we'll come back to that. But that's the general shape of the kitchen area. I made the first scaffolding blocks of my entire life just moments before. Is that an okay size table? I think it might be. Now we definitely want... Let's actually take those out as well. Mm. I wonder if this would work. Hmm. A little bit of a table here. Yep. Nope. Shall we make a little frame? I want two by one there maybe that's too happy yeah this 
this guy who lives here is not much of a <laughs> much of a green thumb guy that's too bright we'll put an oak sapling or something or even better spruce sapling yeah nope no Better, 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 better. It's a bit pink. But then again, if we use that, I want to use dark oak here in the sitting room area. So maybe we'll just keep that. I think we're getting there. Curtains. Yep. Mm. The question is, how do I want the chairs? Hmm. Well, let's put one chair there. Yeah. Hmm. Someone's left their evening meal here. I actually really like that you can hear the cave sounds here. That just adds to the as atmosphere. Now, the question is, what next? Yes, maybe move a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit of something there. No, but we can't put anything with the trap doors there, so no carpet there then. One more thing. I think this is about it. Except that we need to fix that. Uh, no, that's jungle. That's it. Cool. Is that it now? I think, I think for now I'm okay with this. I don't think there's anything we need to add just now, but if you have any ideas, I mean, there could be a painting here, but then again, I 
don't want this guy, this farmer, to be too sophisticated with his paintings. You know, it, it's supposed to be a plain house. So, I think this is it. Now, I wanted to show you the downstairs as well, because I've been working down there a little bit too. So, let's go and have a look what's there. I created a little storage room down here. Just a few things, like random things in these storage containers and chests. Um, oh yeah, and bathroom. Water faucet, toilet paper, mirror, and the toilet itself. Not functional as such. And a bedroom that's currently lacking a bed, but no longer. Just a little desk, um, painting, nightstand. There's a cupboard for some clothing. The guy has a lot of boots. And a little fireplace here to keep the place warm in the winter because it's underground so it can get a bit damp and cold I'm sure and so yeah that's about it the interior is starting to be homely cozy nice but a bit creepy maybe hopefully at least during the night time and with those sounds playing for sure we've managed to do quite a bit today I'm still not doing the freaking roof to this house. But I promise next time we are going to be making the roof to this place. And the roof is going to be on top of this building. It just started to rain. So I'm going to cozy up, maybe put the heating on and say thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye!